Welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. We would like to welcome in a special way all those who are joining us through our various social media platforms. Today, at this annual Chrism Mass, we join Archbishop Jose Gomez, the Auxiliary Bishops, and the priests of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles as the Archbishop blesses the oil of the sick, the oil of catechumens, and consecrates the oil of sacred chrism. It is our special privilege also during this Mass to witness the renewal of the priestly commitment of our priests as they continue to faithfully serve our local church. Please stand. Jesus Christ has made
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with Peace your spirit. You. Welcome to you all to our Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels for the celebration of our annual Christmas Mass. It's great to be together. Uh, so I think it is a special moment today to give thanks to God for our vocation and for our ministry to the people of God in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles and in the Universal Church and especially ask for the grace of God to continue our ministry faithfully. So let's start our celebration acknowledging our sins and preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, fault to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who anointed your only begotten Son with the Holy Spirit, and made him Christ and Lord, graciously grant that being made sharers in his consecration, we may bear witness to your redemption in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lectura del libro del profeta Isaías. El Espíritu del Señor está sobre mí, porque me ha ungido y me ha enviado para pronunciar la buena nueva a los pobres, a curar los de corazón quebrantado, a proclamar el perdón de los cautivos, la libertad a los prisioneros y a pregonar el año de gracia del Señor, el día de la venganza de nuestro Dios. El Señor me ha enviado a consolar a los afligidos, los afligidos de Sión, a cambiar su ceniza en diadema, sus lágrimas en aceite perfumado de alegría y su abatamiento en cátricos. Ustedes serán llamados sacerdotes del Señor, ministros de nuestro Dios, se les llamará. Esto dice el Señor, yo les daré su recompensa fielmente y haré con ellos un pacto perpetuo. Su estirpe será célebre entre las naciones y sus vástagos entre los pueblos. Cuando los vean, reconocerán que son la estirpe del que bendijo el Señor. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor.
He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward Him, and my covenant with Him stands firm. Cantaré eternamente las misericordias del Señor. Encontré a David, mi siervo, y lo he ungido con olio sagrado, para que mi mano esté siempre con él, y mi brazo lo haga valeroso. Cantaré. to me, you are my Father, my God, my rock that brings me victory. Cantaré eternamente las misericordias del Señor. A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming among the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the people of the earth will lament him. Yes. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And all the eyes of the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
my dear brothers and brothers and sisters in Christ. First of all, I want to welcome all those joining our celebration this morning by live stream. I'm confident that next year we will all be able to gather as one family of God in, in, in this great cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. But this year we are uh, just gathering uh, together for our Christmas Mass, and it's, as I said before, it's a moment of joy for all of us to be together at this moment. We give thanks to God for that. So once again this year we are entering into Holy Week in a time of a pandemic. So my brothers, we renew our priestly promises today in a world and a church that is changing dramatically. For a long time, as we know, we could not gather in a normal way in our parishes to hear the Word of God and receive our Lord in the breaking of the bread. In the last months, we were able to start the process of coming back to the celebration of Holy Mass, the sacraments, and the different ministries in our parishes. Now, as the pandemic lifts, we are starting what we call a new normal. And we do that with renewed awareness of the great treasure that we have in each parish community. It especially begins with the real presence of our Lord in the Eucharist. Jesus makes himself a gift of love, offering his body and blood to become our food and our companion as we make our way on this earthly journey. And as we know, the priest is the man of the Eucharist. This is who he is before all else. Only the priest, through his intimate union with Christ, can bring us this bread from heaven that sanctifies and sustains us. Brothers, I know that each one of you has felt the loss of the Eucharist deeply, and so have our people. But God bless all of you for your zeal and creativity during this long and challenging year. You find new ways to serve, new ways to bring hope, the hope of Jesus Christ into the homes and hearts of our people. Thank you for your, all your commitment and ministry to our people in the Archdiocese. Now, as our society moves into the next phases of this pandemic, I think we need to reach deeper within. We need to find new enthusiasm and new courage to serve God. The prophet in today's first reading is speaking directly to you and to me. You yourselves shall be called priests of the Lord. Ministers of our God, you shall be called. This is who we are, my dear brothers. This is the beautiful privilege of our lives, to be called his priest. In God's providence, he's calling us now to be his priest in this time of a pandemic. He's calling us to be his ministries, ministers in a society where people have been wounded and feel abandoned. A society that has become angry and deeply divided. And our Lord is calling us to share more deeply in his mission, as we heard in the gospel today. Jesus reading, reading the words of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, 
because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, and to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. He is calling us, each one of us, to help our brothers and sisters to see God's beautiful, that God's beautiful plan of love continues, even in this time of sorrow, so that they can live for God and live for love. So, my dear brothers, this is an exciting and historic time to be his priest. Yes, it is challenging. But we go with Jesus, and he has so much that he wants us to accomplish. This summer, as you all know, we are going to begin a jubilee year to mark the 250th anniversary of the First Church in Los Angeles, a Mission San Gabriel Arcángel. And this coming December, as you also probably know, we celebrate the 150th anniversary of Our Lady of Guadalupe's appearance and the true spiritual founding of America. So, it will be a time of the Lord's favor when God will pour out many graces and blessings. And all of us in the Church need to lift up our eyes we need to see this new moment that we have to share God's love and salvation. And my dear brothers and sisters, all of us, the second reading today says that in the church we have a beautiful duty to bear witness to Jesus, who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. So, let us renew our zeal, our joy to be missionary disciples in our homes and families and society. And as we open uh, our parishes again, we share the urgent task of falling, calling our people to come home. And let us make the Eucharist the heart of our parishes and the heart of every Catholic's life. I think it is a special time for all of us in the Church to be amazed and astonished again by the love that God reveals to us in the Eucharist. It is indeed a special time. That's what I was saying, that we need to go deeper in our commitment all of us, starting with each one of us, my brothers and sisters, my dear brothers priests, to understand how important and beautiful this moment is as we uh, help our people to come back. Finally, as we all know, this is the year of St. Joseph. So as we prepare to renew our priestly promises, my dear brothers, we shall ask St. Joseph to help us to be true spiritual fathers, to help us to adore Jesus as he did, and to serve our people with a father's heart. And as St. Joseph loved Mary, our Blessed Mother, let us love her too, with all the love and devotion in our hearts. And may our Blessed Mother Mary, Queen of the Angels, may she help every one of us in the Church to love her Son with a pure heart and proclaim Him by the witness of our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Dear brothers, please stand for the renewal of the priestly promises. Beloved sons, on the anniversary of that day, when Christ our Lord conferred his priesthood on his apostles and on, and on us, are you resolved to renew in the presence of your bishop and God's holy people the promises you once made? Are you resolved to be more united with the Lord Jesus and more closely conformed to Him? Deny yourselves and confirming those promises about sacred duties toward Christ's Church, which, prompted by love of Him, you willingly and joyfully pledge on the day of your priestly ordination? Are you resolved to be faithful stewards of the mysteries of God in the Holy Eucharist and the other liturgical rites? and to discharge faithfully the sacred office of teaching, following Christ the Head and Shepherd, not seeking any gain, but moved only by zeal for souls? As for you, dear sons and daughters, pray for your priest, that the Lord may pour out his gifts abundantly upon them, and keep them faithful as ministers of Christ the High Priest, so they may lead you to him who is the source of salvation. Christ, hear Christ, us. Hear Christ, us. Graciously, Christ hear us. graciously hear us. And pray also for me, that I, may faithful, that I may be faithful to the apostolic office entrusted to me in my loneliness, and that in your midst I may be made day by day and living a more perfect image of Christ, the priest, the Good Shepherd, the Teacher, and the Servant of all. Christ, Christ hear us. Christ, Christ graciously hear us. May the Lord keep, keep us all in His charity and lead all of us, shepherds and flock, to eternal life. Amen. 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 Please be seated. God, Father of all consolation, who will to heal the infirmities of the weak through your Son, listen favorably to the prayers of faith. Send forth from the heavens, we pray, your Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, upon this soul in all its richness, which you have graciously brought forth from the burden tree to restore the body, so that by your, your holy blessing, Everyone anointing with this oil as a safeguard for body, soul, and spirit may be free from all pain, all infirmity, and all sickness. May your holy oil, O Lord, be blessed by you for our sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
God, strength and protection of your people, who have made the all you created a sign of strength. Graciously bless this oil. I grant courage to the catechumens, who will be anointed with it, so that receiving divine wisdom and power, they may understand more deeply the gospel of your Christ. They may undertake a, with, with a generous heart the labors of the Christian life, and may worthy of adoption as your sons and daughters. They may rejoice to be born anew and to live in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. To you, Redeemer, songs we are raising, Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, to God the Almighty Father. He bless and sanctify this soul, so that all who are outwardly anointed with it may be inwardly transformed and come to share in eternal salvation. O oh God, author of all, of all growth and spiritual progress, receiving your goodness, the grateful homage that the Church joyfully offers to you through our voice. For in the beginning, you commanded the air to bring forth fruit-bearing trees, among which olive trees will arise, as providers of this most rich oil, so their fruit might serve for sacred chrism. In the spirit of prophecy, David foresaw the sacraments of your grace and sang on the all that will gladden our faces. After the world's offenses were washed away by the flood, <clears throat> a dove announced the restoration of peace on earth with the olive branch, foreshadowing the gift to come. In the last days, all this has been clearly revealed, 
when every offense is removed through the waters of baptism. The anointing with this oil causes our faces to be joyful and serene. You also commanded your servant Moses to make his brother Aaron a priest by putting this oil upon him after he had been washing water. A still greater dignity was added to this when your son Jesus Christ, our Lord, insisted that he be, he be washed by John in the waters of, of the Jordan. You send the Holy Spirit from on high in the likeness of a dove. You declare by the witness of the voice that follow that you were well pleased in him, your only begotten son. And you were seen to confirm clearly what the prophet David had foretold in song, that Christ will be anointed with the all of gladness above his companions. Uh, my brother, bishops and priests, you can extend your right hand for the blessing. <clears throat> Therefore, we beseech you, Lord, be pleased to sanctify with your blessing this oil in its richness, and to put into it the strength of the Holy Spirit with the powerful working of your Christ. From his holy name, he has received the name of Chrism, and with it, you have anointed your priests, prophets, kings, and martyrs. May you confirm the chrism you have created as a sacred sign of perfect salvation and life for those to be made new in the spiritual water, waters of baptism. May those form into a temple of your majesty by the holiness infused through this anointing and by the cleansing, cleansing of the stain of their first birth may be fragrant with the innocence of a life pleasing to you. May those anointed with royal, priestly, and prophetic dignity be clothed with the garment of an incorrupt, incor incorruptible gift in keeping with the sacrament you have established. May this oil be the chrism of salvation for those born again of water and the Holy Spirit. And may it make them partakers of eternal life and shares of heavenly glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> to you, Redeemer, songs we are raising, hearts and voices in thankful praising. A ti I arise today through the strength of heaven, light of sun, radiance of moon, splendor of fire, speed of lightning. Swiftness of wind, depth of the sea, stability of earth, firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's eye to look before me, 
God's wisdom to guide me God's way to life before me God's shield to protect me from all who shall wish me ill afar and near alone and in a multitude against every Merciless power that may oppose my body and soul. Christ with me, Christ before me. Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left. Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise, Christ to shield me, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. I arise
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is still right and just our dear in our salvation always and everywhere. To you, thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant, and by your wondrous design were pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the Church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with the brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the Paschal, Paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. indeed holy o lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for, for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give light to all things and made them holy the universe is to gather people to yourself so from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be brought for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Salvador del mundo, salvanos, tú que nos has liberado por tu cruz y resurrección, por tu cruz y Therefore, o Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his from the resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you intensive in this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim, by who said you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Llenos de alegría por ser hijos de Dios, digamos confiadamente la oración que Cristo nos enseñó. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. 
Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Tuyo sereno, tuyo el poder y la gloria por siempre, Señor. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concede la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. La paz del Señor esté siempre con todos ustedes. Y con, y con tu espíritu. espíritu. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Señor, no se digno de que entres en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanarme.
feast and see that the Lord our God is good. That the Lord our God is good. Let us pray. We beseech you, Almighty God, that those you renew by your sacraments may merit to become the pleasing fragrance of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you once again for joining us this morning. A very special thank you to the Cathedral Liturgy Department, the Cathedral staff, Cathedral volunteers, our musicians, our organist and cantor, and also the seminarians who assisted us this day. So thank you to each and every one of you. And just a reminder, following the recessional procession today, if everyone would be, please be seated. At that time, we will give you instructions on how we will distribute the holy oils. They will be distributed from the cathedral. So that's why it's extremely important for you to be seated, and we will give you those instructions following the recession.
Uh, brothers, if we can, as we do every year, pray together the prayer for priestly vocations. Father, Father and in every generation, generation you, you provide, provide ministers of Christ, Christ and, the and the Church. We come, we come before, before you now, now asking, asking that you call forth more, more men, men, men to serve our archdiocese in the ministerial, the ministerial priesthood. You give us priests who will lead and, lead and guide, guide your holy people, people gathered by word and sacrament. Bless, Bless us with priestly vocations so that we can continue to be a truly Eucharistic Church. Strengthen, Strengthen our, our discipleship of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, your only, your only Son. Praise Raise up, we pray, men who are generous in their service, willing to offer their lives and all their gifts for your greater glory and for the good of your people. We make our prayer in the presence and power of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, uh, again, uh, I want to thank you to all of you for everything that you are doing for our people in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. I think, uh, um, as you can see, everything is a little different. It's kind of strange, but that's the way it is. I'm sure that that is something similar in your parishes, but it is so important that uh, your ministry for all the people in the Archdiocese, so thank you very much. At the same time, as I was saying in the homily, I think we need to see this moment <clears throat> as a new beginning. Uh, let's keep praying that everything goes well, and hopefully we can move to uh, the next stage of this situation, and it will be easier for all of us in our parishes and schools to be there present for our people. Uh, a special prayer for the seminarians who are here. So let's keep praying for them and for all the seminarians at St. John's Seminary and Queen of Angels House of Priest Information. So we have the, uh, also the transitional deacons here with us. They're going to be ordained in the month of June, hopefully. So if the pandi pandemic permits. So uh, you, you are in our praise in a special way. Uh, uh, so let us continue with enthusiasm, with joy, uh, and with optimism, serving the people of God in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. You are in my prayers in a special way, and I assure you praise for my ministry here in the Archdiocese. And have a holy, well, let's put it this way, blessed Holy Week, blessed Holy Week, and, uh, and uh, blessed Easter. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. <laughs> May God, the Father of mercies, who has given you an example of love in the passion of his only begotten Son. Grant that by serving God and your neighbor, you may lay hold of the wondrous gift of his blessing. Amen. 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 So you may receive the reward of everlasting life from him, through whose early death you believe that you escape eternal death. Amen. Amen. And by following the example of his self-abasement, may you possess a share in his resurrection. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
to save and make us whole. As we worship, grant us vision to your love's revealing light. In its height and depth and greatness dawns upon our human Compassion beats us bare.